600. So that goes up from 100,000 by 1,600 to 1,016. That 1,016 matches the trial balance. We're now out of balance on the GL by the 1,006. Accounts receivable, third account on the trial balance. Therefore, also third account on the GL, the general ledger. There it is. So this happened on 325, we're saying. We're in cell P18. I'm going to say equals. Hold the left arrow till we hit the wall. And then scroll back up and we're picking up that 1,600. So this should be the normal trend with the accounts receivable. You see it started at 2,000. It went up with an invoice in this case to 3,006. And then it's going to go down with a receive payment when the customer pays us off. That 2,000 then also now on the trial balance. We also need to do that, however, with the subsidiary ledger to show that which customer paid us off. So we're going to go all the way to the right to the subsidiary ledger, the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger being subsidiary because it needs to be adding up to the primary account of the accounts receivable, 3, 325. So we are in cell BD18 equals going all the way to the left till we hit the wall and then scrolling back up and we're picking up that accounts receivable in D6. If I double click on that, there it is on D6 right there. So then this is the normal trend we would see. It would be, you know, and you would see this trend even more clearly in the subsidiary ledger, meaning it goes up with an invoice. And if you're looking at like QuickBooks data, it would show you that the type of form would generally be an invoice. And then it would go down with a receive payment type of form when we got paid. And that, and you should be able to go through and kind of tick and tie these off. Those are the only kind of transactions typically that'll be there in the in this accounts receivable ledgers and sub ledgers. The total now of our four customers back to 2000 that matches the trial balance indicated by the green zero. But let's double check it going on back over. Does it match? It does indeed. Let's do it again. But this time on this second half, when we get the payment, we're going to put it into undeposited funds imagining that we've got like cash let's say and we're going to get cash from multiple different people and therefore we want to put it into undeposited funds and then later roll it from undeposited funds into the checking account grouping the deposits in the same format in our accounting system as they will appear on the bank statement so that we can reconcile our books to the bank as easily as possible so same starting point we're going to make another invoice let's say it's on 410 so same invoice, we're, we're not going to be dealing with inventory because we're focused on the accounts receivable. So same service type of invoice. We're going to say this time it was 1,400 just to make things different, change things up. So same starting point. We're going to go over here to, to cell H6. Uh, now I'm going to, instead of double clicking, I'm going to select F2 on the keyboard, which is a lot faster if you want to start using that, if you want to, if just to show you. And then you can say plus. And then when I use the arrows without using the mouse, I can say F2 on the keyboard. And that allows me to use the arrows. So that actually is a lot faster. It's more geeky, which is, you know, that's what we're going for here. That's the goal. And so there, now we got those two things that happened in, or we got, well, now we increased it by that 1,400, basically 2,000 plus 1,400 to 3,004. Then down below in the sales area, I'm going to do the same thing. Something's in it. F2 on the keyboard plus, and then I have to hit F2 so that I can move the mouse again and not have it move within the cell. Then we're going to pick up that 1,400. So that brings it up. So we got a total increase now between the two sales items of the 3,000, bringing it up to 203,000. We're back in balance with the green zeros. It brought net income up in the credit direction from 24,710 by 3,000 to, to uh, 27, 7, 10. Let's record this then to our general ledger. Accounts receivable is our third account on the GL. Third account on the GL, there it is. We're on 310, 310. So we're in P19 equals, going left till we hit the wall, scrolling up to that 1,400. So here we had it, it went 2,000, and then it went up with like an invoice for work we did and billed the client or invoiced the client to 3,600. Then we got paid. It went back down to 2,000. 
that's a receive payment type of form. Then we invoiced again, another kind of invoice, or we did work and charged the client invoicing them 3400 That 3400 should then be what is on the, tri the trial balance. Our general ledger is out of balance till we record the other side, sales, which is our first income account. Going to the right till we find it. Green assets, orange liabilities, dark blue is going to be the equity sales in AI6. AI6 on 410. And now we're in AJ6. We're going to say equals. Hold down the left arrow until we hit the wall. And then we're going to pick up that 1,400 and enter. I keep on running my head into the wall here. This is not healthy. 200,000 plus the 1,600, that's the 2016, plus the 1,004 is the 203. That 203 should be also what's on the trial balance over here. 